footbridge. What is the footbridge? Let's take a look. A uniform horizontal footbridge. Oh, the long thing that the man is standing on. That's a footbridge. 12 meters long and weighs 4,000 Newton. It's resting on two supports. Okay. Man standing on it. And they're asking us, what is the upwards force from support X? So they're asking, what is this force? You know, what, what force is that? That would be a normal reaction force. And we're trying to find what that is. By the way, there are two. There's one here, one from the other side as well. Just FYI. Okay, first step when you see questions like this, draw all the forces at play. Anything you know from your types of forces, reaction, friction, well, nothing's moving, so no friction. Also, remember the keyword, uniform horizontal footbridge. What does it mean, uniform? It means the weight is evenly distributed throughout the whole rod. So, we have the man's weight, right? Let's draw that out. So the man has some weight. Did they tell us how heavy he is? Yes, they did. 600. Let's just draw it out. So 600 is the man's weight. And you have the footbridge center of gravity. Now, you know it's horizontal. So it has to be dead in the middle. 4,000 Newton. So if the whole uh, footbridge is 12 meters, means this will be 6 meters and the other side 6 meters. I'm not going to label it. Okay, so we got the forces. Double check. Yes. Now, the next part is, we need to choose a pivot. Where are we going to choose it? You can choose it any point along the entire line, but where you choose it will either make your job easier or make your job harder. See, we could actually choose the pivot to be at support X. There's just one problem there. We are trying to find the force at X. But if you choose the pivot at X, R1 has no effect on the whole system. So we don't have an equation with R1 inside. Hmm, that's a problem. And we will find support Y, R2 instead. And you have to use some other method using equilibrium. All the upwards equals the downwards to find support X. That's a longer method. <sighs> so let's choose a pivot somewhere else. Let's choose it at Y. By choosing at Y, I can have an equation of torque with R1 inside. Da -da -da. And... I also kind of get rid of R2 because R2 is exactly at the pivot. So force acting on the pivot is pretty much no effect. Why no effect? Because torque is force times distance. Distance is zero already, so torque is zero. So all the forces that act here, if there's a whole bunch of them, all don't matter anymore. Great, I like it. Simplify a bit. Now, what should we do? Is the system turning? Is it at rest? Net talk. Next step is, think about the net talk. It's at rest. Keyword is in the question. So if you write it out, net talk is zero. Which means you can say that clockwise talk is the same as anti-clockwise talk. Wait, wait, wait. If you're asking where's the negative sign means, go to the previous question and check. I kind of skipped that step showing the negative sign because I want to jump straight to this one for net talk zero. So, clockwise forces, what are those? We have 600 times, oh, we don't know that distance. We can find it though. Whole bridge is 12 minus 6 minus 4. So this should be 2 meters. So 600 times 2 plus, eh, sorry, clockwise, anti-clockwise. I forgot, forgot my pivots on this side. So the top, these fellas cause an anti-clockwise torque and R1 is causing a clockwise torque. Ha! Huh? Got it reversed. So clockwise torque should be R at X. Let me just change that. Rx times the whole length, 12. Only one force. Wow, okay. One force to support everything. Good. Then the anti-clockwise. Ah, now only correct. 600 times 2 plus 4,000. No, nope, not times 2. Wow, why today the question? Okay, 6, 8. That's right. 600 to the pivot is 8 plus 
4,000. How far away is 4,000 from the pivot? 6 meters. So you 6 meters. Now we have an equation of torque where you can find your support at x, which we call Rx in this case, reaction force at x. So calculate, calculate, what's the reaction force at x? We have 6,000 times, whoa, 600 times 8 plus 4,000 times 6 divided by 12. 2,400 newtons. This is a force, by the way. So the answer is, for this whole thing to be a uniform, not uniform, for this whole uniform rod to be at rest, support X should have an upwards reaction force of 2,400 to support everything. The man's weight and the, uh, the weight of the footbridge. So remember, just recap a bit. Whenever you see all kinds of torque-related problems, first thing is, if there's a picture, label your forces. If there's no picture, you need to draw your own diagram. So you need to draw a diagram. Okay? For dynamics and mechanics, if no diagrams provided, please, please draw a diagram even if it's just a simple rod. So once you've labeled it, then you need to check which one is clockwise torque, which is anti-clockwise. You need to define your directions. Okay? Which one's positive, which one's negative where and what then you put all together um also i should mention net torque you should check the question is it net torque zero or otherwise then lastly of course you can solve so just remember the main problem solving framework is break down each situation force by force and think about the torque so that's all for this section on center of gravity don't forget ah uh, objects have center of gravity